Hello everyone, welcome back. We are continuing with our accountancy subject. Okay, in our last lecture, we started with what do we understand by accounting and what is its definition. Now let's look more into it. So the topic today is accounting as a source of information. That in fact, this is one of the most important. There are reasons why accounting is needed. In our last videos, we saw that we cannot keep everything in our mind. As we cannot keep everything in our mind, we need to write it somewhere. But to, we cannot just put it. Like you, it must have happened with us also. We have written some important information somewhere and we forgot what, uh, where we wrote it. Okay? Then it becomes a hassle to find it again. That's, uh, that should not happen in businesses. And that is the reason accounting needs to be very precise, very systematic, and it should give us uh, all the information we need. Now, as discussed earlier, accounting is the definite process of interlinked activities that begins with the identification of transaction and ends with the preparation of financial statement. Now, what are financial statement? These are the words that we start, uh, are reading for the very first time. Now see, as a company, my only, like if I'm a shareholder or if I'm a director of a company, my main motive is to know about the entire accounting in just a piece of paper. I would want to know how much sales I made, how much purchases I made, what was my profit, okay? These are the major uh, information that I'll need. So accounting starts with recording each and every transaction and then compiling, summarizing, classifying them and then finally presenting them and presenting in financial statements. Every step in the process of accounting generates information. Generation of information is not an end in itself. It is a means to facilitate the dissemination of information among different user groups. So, in accounting, just a mere presentation, ki, okay, this has happened in the entire year, this is not complete, okay? We need to give, segregate and disseminate this information to all the intended users, like to the shareholders, to the creditors, to the bank, to the tax authorities, everyone who's interested in our organization, they would want to see our accounts. So. It is a means to facilitate the dissemination of information among the different user groups. Such information enables the interested parties to take appropriate decisions. Therefore, dissemination of information is an essential function of accounting. Let's underline this, that dissemination of information, what is the most important uh, function of accounting? Dissemination of information. To be useful, the accounting information should ensure to provide information for making economic decisions like whether to invest or not, whether to give this much salary or not. Uh, serve the user who rely on financial statements as their principal source of information. So if I want to invest in a company, I want to buy shares of a company, what will I look at? I will look at the financial the statements of the company. Key, whether the co company is doing well or not. I will compare the financial statements of other companies as well and then I make an informed decision. Next, provide information useful for predicting and evaluating the amount, timing and uncertainty of potential cash flows key from where money will come in, from wh for where money will go from my organization and provide information for judging management's ability to utilize resources effectively in meeting goal, whether everyone who has been allotted a resource, like I gave a computer to someone, whether he is using the computer properly or not, that thing also can be recorded in accounting, like every second day he is coming to me that I broke the computer, I want a new one. So effectively whether they are utilizing the resources or not. Next, provide factual and interpretative information uh, by disclosing underlying assumptions on matters, sub, uh, on matters subject to interpretation, evaluation, prediction and estimation. Now all those things which can be perceived differently by different person, the accounting gives a fair idea ki how it should be perceived and provide information or activities affecting the 
society. Next, the role of an accountant in generating accounting information is to observe, screen and recognize, uh, observe, screen and recognize events and transactions to measure and process them and thereby compile reports comprising accounting information that are communicated to the user. So every, every transaction what has happened, the accountant is supposed to record them and to make them in a shortest possible way to compile them like this that the information is readily available. These are then interpreted, decoded and used by management and other groups. It must be ensured that the information provided is relevant, adequate and reliable. So next thing that we need to remember is what about information that we want the information to be relevant information, irrelevant things we don't want. Okay. Next thing we want it to be adequate that means complete that means uh, whatever amount of data we need we should be available the data should be available and last thing the information should not be falsified it should be reliable we can rely on that information the apparently divergent needs of internal and external users of accounting information have resulted in the development of sub disciplines within the accounting discipline namely financial accounting cost accounting management accounting so in fact when you are in 11th standard and in 12th standard you only study the first branch that is financial accounting the cost accounting managerial accounting or management accounting you will be studying either in graduation or if you pursue ca or any other professional course where higher level of accounting is given then you will look at these branches okay now let's study about financial accounting the first branch that we will study throughout our accounting studies like in 11th, 12th, graduation, post graduation. Financial accounting is a compulsory thing. Okay? Financial accounting assists uh, keeping a systematic record of financial transactions, the preparation and presentation of financial reports in order to arrive at a measure of organizational success and financial soundness. So what is this? This is a financial accounting is a record of financial, only financial where money is related, all those transactions are recorded and presented and because by looking at financial statements uh, which are part of financial accounting, we will come to know whether organization is doing good or bad. So, uh, and financial accounting, it relates to the past period, serves the stewardship function and is uh, monetary in nature. So, financial uh, statements or financial accounting is of what? Whatever has happened already, that is to be recorded. Okay, something which is about to happen will not be recorded in financial accounting. Okay, what has happened, let's record it. And by looking at this, it's a steward. Stewardship function means it anchors you where to go okay all these things have happened oh my budget was 1 crore rupee i have already spent 70 crores i have already written 70 crores so for future how to manage my 30 crore okay like this stewardship function and monetary in nature i told you all the qualitative like how your friendship with your best friend cannot be recorded here it is primarily concerned with the provision of financial information to the to all stakeholders who are stakeholders who have interest in the organization. So to provide them with the financial uh, information. Second thing is cost accounting. I told you cost accounting and managerial or management accounting you will be studying in your higher classes in your graduation. So cost accounting, let's get an idea what type of accounting is cost accounting. So cost accounting assists in analyzing the expenditure for ascertaining the costs of various products. Okay. So if this is a part of accounting which only relates to the things of cost. We already know what is cost because we uh, in our junior classes we studied that cost plus profit equals to sales. If cost is 100 rupee, profit is 20 rupee, the selling price will be 120. We understood this. Okay. Uh, in junior classes we studied. So this cost, this is cost accounting, accounting for this. So cost of various products manufactured or services rendered by the firm. The 
uh, and fixation of prices thereof, how much amount to be charged. I need to know that if I want 20% profit, okay, if the cost is 100 rupees, 20% comes 20 rupees, then only I can sell it for 120 rupees. So, for fixation of prices thereof. It also helps in controlling the cost and providing necessary costing information to management for decision making okay how to reduce cost this is what is going on in all the companies everyone want to reduce their cost and that's how they'll increase their profit margin last branch of accounting is management accounting now management accounting is also a thing which i told you we'll be studying in your uh, higher classes so management accounting deals with the provision of necessary accounting information to people within the organization to enable them in decision making, planning and controlling the business operation. So who all make the decision in a company, who all plan activities, who all control the business, the directors, the owners of the company. So they are the management and the information. We cannot just provide every detail to them, okay? Each and every, I spent 5 rupees there, 20 rupees there, 50 rupees there. Management does not care about these small, small things. They would want to look at the bigger picture, ki how much total expenditure on traveling, how much total expenditure on uh, salary, they want this. So, and this is management accounting. So, management accounting draws the relevant information, mainly from financial accounting and cost accounting, which helps the management in budgeting, assessing profitability, taking pricing decisions, capital expenditure decisions and so on. So these are the work that a management does in a company. They budget ki how much money we have, how much can we spend and how much profit we'll make and how much price should we keep of our product so that we'll make a suitable profit. And capital expenditure, like uh, should we buy land, should we buy machinery, or should we just rent it out? All these decisions, so many, so many decisions our management has to make, and all these will be done here. Besides, it generates other information, quantitative and qualitative. See, uh, there, he, they, this is the only part where qualitative information is also written in financial accounting and in cost accounting. It is only quantitative information. So, uh, financial and non-financial, which relates to the future of uh, and is relevant for decision making in the organization. Such information includes sales forecast, how much sales will happen future in future, it's forecasting, it's prediction, okay. Cash flow, how much money will come in, how much money will go, purchase requirement, how much goods we should purchase, manpower needs, how much people we need to hire as employees, environmental data, whether to start a factory here or not, about effects on air, water, land, natural resources, flora, fauna, human health, social responsibilities, etc. As a result, the, as a result, the scope of accounting has become so vast that the new areas like human resource accounting, social accounting, responsibility accounting have also gained prominence okay again a new type of accounting is coming in all these type of accounts uh, we'll be doing this qualitative characteristics of accounting in our next video thank you